thought I'd do a video showing some of the custom cases I've made for my AR pistols. And if you're wondering why I have the Blade Runner blaster in the opening shot, it has nothing to do with the video. I'm just kind of a nerd, so I wanted to include it. So, let's get down to uh, the custom cases that I have done. Uh, first we have this, which is very compact. Not really a custom case, uh, but if you have an AR with a folding brace and the Dolos kit, you see that the entire AR can fit in a very compact package. And I added these magazine holders on either side. So there's more than enough room to not only hold the AR pistol, but there's also enough room to have six magazines on the outside and then an extra four on the inside. So if you have a Dolos kit, that's really nice. It's very compact. What I want to do with most of my cases is not only have it be compact, but have it be discreet. And so I went out and bought this head tennis racket case, which is nice as it has an extra compartment right here. And then what I did was I cut some of the hard foam to fit the outline of one of my AR pistols. And you can see right there, it also can hold uh, three of the Colt magazines since this was done for a nine millimeter. This works really, really well. It's very compact. And by using that foam, and again, let me show you the foam here. It's the much harder foam. It's not the, the soft foam that you typically see with the pick and pluck or what comes in the top of cases. This is a much denser, harder foam, and it's really nice because you can cut it out. It holds its shape really well. And uh, I use this foam for almost everything that I do now. This I only use as trim foam, which I'll show you later on. But using this foam, you can configure this to whatever you want. And not only can you use a tennis racket case, but you can pretty much use anything you want. And going back to the nerd thing, like I said, there's a halo case, which can easily fit one of the AR pistols. Just cut the inside out. This one kind of reminded me of Space 1999. There's more than enough room in here to hold two AR pistols with the foam. And here is a Plano case, which I have. Now, you can do this one very easily because in this one, all I did was I removed Well, actually, I didn't remove anything in this, but you can see right here, uh, only a lower's in there right now, but you can also fit the, uh, it, the upper. Uh, with mine, I have to take the optic off and put the optic in this area, uh, and it only works with the shortest of barrels. Uh, but this is nice because it's fairly compact, but it only holds one pistol.
And here is a laptop case by Pelican. Um, currently the foam in this one is for two SIG handguns, but again, you can cut this out to fit a single AR pistol. Now, since if I go to the range, I need a lot more than just one AR pistol, I designed this. And this is another Plano case, really nice, four latches each side. It comes with the pick and pluck foam, but I took that out all except for a thin layer at the bottom and the one at the top. And then what I did was I used this hard foam, which I mentioned before, and I basically just cut out two. Now let's see if I can pull this out. I should be able to. So originally I designed this and it fit three lowers and two uppers. And I really wanted it to be able to fit three complete AR pistols. So this was kind of the first version of what I did. And it worked really well. It just, when I cut the foam, it doesn't leave enough space for me to fit three AR pistols in that one container. So on to the second design. And this design worked perfectly. And let me tell you what I did with this one. What I did was I used magazines and drilled a hole in the bottom of the magazines and put a screw in there and a washer, that's important, and I mounted them inside the case. You can see right here I added one 9mm magazine, and that's a 20 rounder. And then there's one of the 30 round magazines. And you can see it's nice because it locks in place. And all you have to do to remove it is hit the magazine release and pull it out. And that works incredibly well. Now, to mount the uppers, what I had to do was use a vice block and I mounted the vice block to a synthetic material and then mounted that synthetic material to the bottom of the case. And so all you have to do is pull the pins out for the vice block. Let me get this one out here. This one's kind of tight. And then your uppers come out completely. Let me make sure you can get a good view of that. And you can see the two bolts. I had to drill through the vice block and bolt it through. And then I also, with the small thin piece of foam, I cut it to fit so it gave a cleaner appearance and had a soft uh, bottom to it and then just put it around. But you can see right here, the magazines, because an AR magazine is at an angle and I needed this to be level, what I had to do was I had to cut an angle, a little triangle like this, that I mounted to the bottom of the case, drilled a hole through it, mounted the magazine on like that, so that the magazines fit and are perfectly level. And as you can see, that worked incredibly well. Take the uppers out, you just remove the pins. 
Give me a second here. It's getting away from me. Hard to do with one hand. Pull the pins out and the uppers come out, but very, very secure. And this was, uh, was very, very happy with how this worked out. It holds three AR pistols perfectly and really works well. And you can see how solid that is. Um, but the key was to have the angled part in there. Now, with that design idea, I thought I would do something even larger. And I picked up this case at a show that you can see right there on the floor. And so with that, what I did, and let me go over what I did with that case real quick. For the large case that you just saw, I bought 10 round AR magazines, which are nice because they're leveled, they didn't require any triangle. And this is a rough draft of a piece of wood that is roughly 2.5 by 2.5 inches that was cut to fit in the case like this. So what I did, and you can see all the drill holes right there for each magazine. So what has to be done is countersink the hole, leaving only an inch of wood so that a washer can go in there. And of course, I drilled a hole through the bottom of the magazine um, with those magazines, the 10 round magazines, I hot glued a lock washer, a washer, and the nut on the inside of the base plate of the magazine. And what that allowed me to do when I mounted that block was all I did, you can see right there, those three screws and again, this was a surplus case, but those three screws, I added a washer, again, for the extra strength, but I just put the washer through, or the, the washer, the screw through the washer, through the case, into the wood, and then it came up into the magazine, or no, those three mount the piece of wood, sorry, those three mount the wood to the case, um, but before that, I mounted all the magazines to this uh, a block that was just like this. And then what I did, instead of painting it, I just covered it in Gorilla Tape because uh, I'm a huge fan of Gorilla Tape. This stuff works incredible. But to show you the case, this is what we ended up with and it just worked out perfectly uh, because I wanted to be able to have a case that had the AR pistols fully assembled. So I'm gonna have to switch hands here. But as you can see, the same applies. Magazine, it locks in place. You can see I'm actually picking it up and the only way to release it is just hit the magazine release button and it locks in place. Very solid design, very nice. Uh, let me get another one in here. But as you can see, this one was set up for six AR pistols and fully assembled and worked perfectly. Now I couldn't use the 30 round magazines because it ended up being too high with the optics to clear the top of the case. So I figured out the shortest distance to allow the pistol grip just a hair. There's only about a half inch distance that I have in there. And so with the 10 round magazines attached to the board, I figured out 2.5 inches was the perfect height to be able to allow me to put the ARs in there and have enough 
that the optics aren't hitting the top. But again, this works out perfectly. Just hit the magazine release and they come right out. So those are some of the custom cases that I have done. If you have any questions, let me know. Cheers.